So glad you joined me this morning. We're looking today at our reading. We've progressed to Lamentations chapter 3, verses 58 to 60. We're in this very autobiographical chapter from Jeremiah. Let's see what he says. O Lord, you have pleaded the case for my soul. You have redeemed my life. O Lord, you have seen how I am wronged. Judge my case. You have seen all their vengeance, all their schemes against me. Jeremiah, he's talking to God. He's saying, Lord, you've seen all this. You've seen what these people are doing. And I'm asking you to please help me. Now, here's something. God has pleaded the case for your soul. God wants you in the kingdom. God is working to bring you along and buy you back from sin. He is on our side. And so Jeremiah recounts, Lord, you've done this for me. You've redeemed me. You've bought me back. Well, Lord, you've seen how I've been wronged. And now he says, judge my case. Judge my case. I'm innocent. Lord, you be my protector. And so he calls on God to do that. God is for us, we say. And again, you've seen all their vengeance, all their schemes against me. Jeremiah is inviting God to turn their schemes inside out and upside down, the schemes of the wicked against the righteous. That's something that God often does in the Bible. Often the, the, the last is made first and the first is made last. And there's usually a big reversal going on somewhere here because God's kingdom takes the small things, the weak things of the world, and it confounds the wise, so-called wise things of this world. The wisdom of men is foolishness with God. And the wisdom of God is foolishness with men, but God's wisdom will prevail. God is for you, and God sees what's being done to you. He keeps every tear of yours in a bottle. He knows when you've been treated right. He knows when you've been treated wrong. He will require an accounting because you belong to Jesus. Their unrighteousness condemns them, and here's a lesson. God wants to be our helper. He wants to. He's inviting us to come to him. He's inviting us to call on him. Why don't we do more of that? In fact, let's pray even now. Dear Father in heaven, each person that's that's hearing this and, and seeking to live for Jesus, some are having some really rough challenges or have in the past. Lord, you have been working for your people. We ask for you to help us, uh, help us to live for you and with you. Help us to be in the shadow of your wings, Lord. Help us to trust in you when, when everything around us to our eyes looks crazy and hopeless. Lord, you be our deliverer. Thank you for being for us. Thank you for being for every listener, Lord, pleading their case, wanting them in your kingdom. Lord, may this be so, but help us to surrender to you. And we ask for this help in Jesus' name. Amen. God will help you surrender to him. We need to be willing to be made willing, and God will help us to be willing. Oh, may we receive his gifts of pardon and strength to live a Christ-like life in this world. God be with you today.